inside the forbidden land of the Red Mist. There was a nameless courtyard. At first Mozai Ocean did not care about the appearance of this system. Mozai Ocean sat near the wall and drank alcohol in the middle of the night, and thought to himself that he was Mozai Ocean, the owner of this system, the king of studies, a former high school student, engaged in sports specializing in martial arts, near the end of the college entrance exams. He was injured. Then he thought that his studies finished until he met the owl, it's nothing but a learning system, just like in a web novel. When he invited him to log in to study for one year, it turned out that only one minute had passed in the real world. When the owl sat on Mozai Ocean's arm, and Mozai Ocean looked directly at the owl, he happily asked himself that this was his chance to pass the exams, wasn't it easy and pleasant? Mozai Ocean didn't even think about the time, and just signed a contract for 500 years. After starting to teleport, Mozai Ocean looked at his disappearing hands with surprise and said to himself, a hundred is only 500 minutes, a little more than eight hours, but he seems to be asleep. Mozai Ocean was very happy until, after a hundred years of hard study, he mastered almost all the subject skills, management, law, art, philosophy, literature, economics, engineering, history, science, agronomy, science, pedagogy, medicine and military affairs. Clutching his head, Mozai Ocean yelled that he had to be crazy to stay here for another 400 years. He didn't want to come out. But the system is insidious. Mozai Ocean can only come out if he dies. But there is a nuance. Suicide is prohibited. After Mozai Ocean's screams, the owl system informed Mozai Ocean that if he wanted to leave the system space earlier, there was only one way out. He had to die in this world. Note, at the hands of another living being. After reading this message, Mozai Ocean, with a stony face, thought to himself that he knew he had to sign for a shorter period. For a hundred years, Mozai Ocean had only a little donkey helper and a brood of chickens. The only way that came to mind was for the donkey to kick him, but harder. So for almost a month he used large stocks of alcohol to give him a drink every day. Pouring alcohol into the donkey's mouth, Mozai Ocean, with a wide smile on his face, told him, calling Dear Lu, that he would drink another jug. After drinking, Mozai Ocean trained Lu to aim at his head, every day, to bring it to automatism. Holding Lu's hooves and pointing at his face, Mozai Ocean told him that he kicked right here. Mozai Ocean's main task is death, and success or not luck lies in. Without finishing his thoughts, Mozai Ocean joined his palms and left two fingers straight, after which he abruptly stuck these fingers into Lu's ass, shouting words such as, murder of a millennium. From such actions, Lu immediately hit Mozai Ocean in the face and got exactly where he pointed. Mozai Ocean happily thought to himself that that was it, he could finally die and return to the real world. When Mozai Ocean fell and his vision became more blurry, the owl system gave him a thumbs up and Lu ran away. At the same time, in the Xuanai continent, outside the Red Mist Forbidden Zone, there were two girls standing behind a strictly man. One of the girls called the old man a master and told him, looking at the Red Mist, that this is the forbidden lands of the Red Mist, and it looks frightening. The second girl agreed with her and said that this is the most dangerous place in the world. The old man's name was Lai Fengzi. He is a real person. He is 999 years old, a four-leaf swordsman at the peak of development. Lai Fengzi, also looking at the red mist, told the girls that according to ancient legends, this is the tomb of the ancient demon god, Michin Dahuan. Before his death, he summoned the red mist of death, which kills all living things that fall into it. At that time there was a Xianchen sect, which considered it its mission to guard this tomb. Later the sect founded the Xianchen dynasty and this place became the forbidden land of the emperor. It's a pity. This dynasty died out more than 900 years ago and no one guards this tomb anymore. The first girl's name is Yao Buhui. She is 216 years old. She is a senior student, a two-leaf swordsman at the peak of development. Yao Buhui turned to Lai Fengzi and asked him, calling him a teacher, what does he always say that the red fog of death dissipates even more and more each time? Will or dissipate completely one day? Hearing her words, Lai Fengzi responded positively to her, saying that it would be so. The second girl's name was Lu Zir. She is 115 years old. She is Lai Fengzi's junior disciple, and she is a one-leaf swordsman. Lu Zir held up one finger and also asked Lai Fengzi, What will happen when the red mist of death dissipates? Will this land remain forbidden? Releasing his head and closing his eyes, Lai Fengzi said that she would not remain forbidden, but, not hearing the continuation, Lu Zir. And Yao Buyui simultaneously asked, but what? Taking a fighting pose, Lai Fengzi replied that there was a verse in the imperial family written in the language of Guan Tzu. After these words, the sword from Lai Fengzi's scabbard flew out and using his powers, Lai Fengzi wrote on the ground such words as, The sky is full of red fog. The emperor forbade to appear on this earth, but the ancient demon god wanted to destroy his time so that the old death would become a new life. 
After writing this, Lai Fengzi read it aloud. Yao Buhui asked Lai Fengzi with a surprised face, saying that there is this new life. But can this verse mean that when the red mist disappears, the demon god will reveal himself to this world again? In a new life, making a serious face, Lai Fengzi replied to her that she understood everything correctly. Everything is true. Clenching her palm into a fist, Yao Buhui asked the teacher again, does this mean that at that time the world will plunge into chaos? Turning to the red mist of death, Lai Fengzi inquiringly asked Yao Buhui, what was it at that time? At what time was it calm in this world? Approaching Lai Fengzi, Lu Zir quietly asked him, saying that he even knows the secrets of the royal family. Did he really see the last queen? To which Lai Fengzi asked in response that she had forgotten how old he was. Of course he saw. At the same time, the donkey Lu continued to run and turning into a human. She said out loud that the master personally gave her magic wine for a month. The strong taste of magic wine actually pushed her to turn into a human. Completely reincarnated as a girl, she continued to run, but with her mouth open and her tongue sticking out, she also continued to shout that in order not to disturb the owner's sleep, this demon should move away. He should not abuse alcohol so much, otherwise it harms his health. The first day of the first month of the new year, the day when they grieve for those times. Having reached the edge of the cliff, the girl got up and began to look at the red mist of death, which is located right under the cliff. She thought to herself that here she is on the edge. No matter how strong the threat, she will not disturb the owner. She does not know if the songs that the owner often sings can ease the pain from thunderous tribulation. Thinking about this, the girl joined her palms and said that then she would start. By this time, outside the red mist, Lai Fengzi, Yao Buyui, and Lu Zir were sitting around the campfire, and suddenly they heard a girl's song. She sang words like, How long has this bright moon been burning in the sky? Holding wine, I asked the sky. Hearing her singing, Lai Fengzi asked in surprise, What is this sound? It turns out that the lotus contains a mysterious Tao. Yao Buyui also said that it seems to her that the sound comes from the forbidden land. Pointing her finger at the red mist of death, Yao Buhui asked Lu Zire, calling her sister, that she knew the melody, did she know this song? Starting to shake her head, Lu Zir replied with a surprised face that she had never heard of, but, without finishing the sentence, Lu Zire listened to the words of the singing girl that she did not know the heavenly creator, and did not know today's year. After these lines, Lu Zir joyfully and loudly said that it must be some kind of heavenly melody. It seems she is able to comprehend the Tao. Lu Zier sat down in a meditation pose and continued listening to the girl's song that the wind is going home. And again she is afraid of the sky, she is too lonely in its halls, she asks to dance like in a movie that may have existed on earth. While the girl was singing, Lu Zier raised her Tao and shouted that she felt as if enlightenment descended on her, it seems she is breaking through. After these words, Lu Zier's eyes lit up, and she became an early stage two-leaf swordsman. Seeing Lu Zir rise into the air and raise her Tao, Yao Buyui jumped out of her seat and shouted in shock that she really broke through. It seems that using the forbidden land can benefit. Starting to sweat, Lai Fengzi said that of course, it's good to find new opportunities. But this opportunity is different from the usual ones. The girl continued to sing and dance. She sang such words as that she wished for long years of his life when the bright moon rises in the sky. After a while, when morning came, the girl stopped singing and looking at the sky holding her head. She asked herself saying that she had been singing all night and was a little tired. But why hasn't Thunder Sorrow appeared yet? Maybe the music of the host has the effect of dispelling. The rays of the sun blinded the girl, and she had to cover her eyes with her hand and ask out loud that the light was from the sun. Was it yesterday? When the sun rose into the sky, the red fog of death began to dissipate. Looking at this, Lu Zir joyfully began to jump and shout that the red fog had really dissipated. After the red mist of death disappeared, Lu Zir saw the girl and asked her with a smile on her face, is there anyone there? Was she singing the song last night? Shielding her eyes with her hand from the sunlight, the girl looked in the direction of Lu Zire, Yao Buyui, Lai Fengzi and asked aloud so that she could not be heard, what does she have here? It seems that someone is waving to her from the opposite side. Lucy Er was jumping and waving her hand at this time. She was shouting and asking the girl what song she was singing. Could she tell the name of the song to her? After examining Lu Zire, the girl was shocked and thought to herself that the barrier was broken. And these people are monks, but they could not destroy the barrier, they need to return to the owner. Thinking about this, the girl turned around and ran as fast as she could. By this time, Yao Buhui and Lai Fengzi began to wake up. Yao Buhui immediately asked Lai Fengzi that why is the younger sister making noise in the morning? When Yao Buyui noticed that the red mist of death had disappeared, she jumped out of her seat and shouted to Lai Fengzi, calling the master to look, the red mist of death dissipated. Hearing her words, Lai Fengzi also jumped out of his seat, shouting that it was not good. Lu Xier stood on the sword and flew after the girl and shouted to her, calling her sister, that she would wait, she just wants to know the name of the song. Seeing that Lu Xier was flying away, Yao Buyui shouted at her to come back immediately. 
Lai Fengzi also shouted to Lu Zir that she would not invade the Forbidden Lands, it could be dangerous there. After these words, Yao Buhui and Lai Fengzi stood on the sword and flew after Lu Zir. At the same time, inside the forbidden land of the Red Mist of Death, in the nameless courtyard, Mozai Ocean was lying unconscious near a large tree. The girl turned back into a donkey Lu, ran to Mozai Ocean and began to wake Mozai Ocean with her noise. Feeling that he had woken up, Mozai Ocean jumped out of his seat and touching his head with both hands with a stony face began to ask himself, what happened? Why didn't he die? A couple of seconds later, Yao Buyui, Lu Zir and Lai Fengzi had already reached Lu and Mozai Ocean's donkey. But Mozai Ocean didn't notice them. He only noticed that the red mist of death disappeared. After that he kept thinking to himself that not only did he not die, but the red mist actually disappeared, and now what? Wait, it turns out that this world is not limited to fog. When Lu Zir flew to the donkey demon and Mozai Ocean, she was shocked to ask herself that this singing sister turned out to be a donkey demon. Yao Buyui, seeing Mozai Ocean and Lu's donkey, thought with her mouth open that it would be fine if the demon was a donkey, but she can't believe that there is still a man hiding in this place. Lai Fengzi was also surprised to see a human and a demon donkey. He said to himself that it could not be a coincidence that this person was the one mentioned in the Xianchen legacy. Mozai Ocean got to his feet, raised his head and shielding his eyes from the sunlight with his hand. He saw Yao Buyui, Lai Fengzi and Lu Zai Er making a stone face. Mozai Ocean asked himself, saying that why suddenly there were three more people. Is he even still in the system space? Or how in popular short stories got into the world of immortals? Landing on the ground, Lai Fengzi, Lu Zir and Yao Buhui were alert, grabbing their swords in their hands. Mo Zai Ocean, with a strange smile on his face, thought that he was absorbed by the system, and he did not think that his world was just a small place on the mainland. On the other hand, now much more it's easier to solve your problem. You just need to find a couple of strong guys in the world of immortals. It seems that achieving the goal is not far off. Looking straight at Mozai Ocean, Lai Fengzi, with sweat on his face, was telling himself to himself that if the person in front of him was really reborn by the ancient demon god, he should be killed as soon as possible, otherwise he would become a disaster over time. But still, he doesn't seem weak, even if he tries to hide it, he still feels the power contained in his body. As for the level, he is afraid that he is already one of the strongest on the continent. His strength has already begun to wane, and his core has not more than a year left. And with him his little disciples, he is already history. But they are in the prime of life, and the question of his murder needs to be thought about carefully. The donkey demon came out a little behind Mosai Ocean, and began to show her long tongue. Seeing this, Yao Buhui was about to pull out her sword, but Lai Fengzi stopped her, shouting that she would stop. Overjoyed that Yao Buyui almost pulled out her sword, Mosai Ocean happily asked himself that she would draw her sword and attack. Here was his chance. The demon ass started crying from laughter and asking herself, saying that she was dying of laughter. Well, would this girl try to get her in the presence of the owner? Approaching Mo Zai Ocean a little, Lai Fengzi bowed to him, saying that his name was Lai Fengzi, and he was glad to greet him. How should he address him as a Taoist friend? Starting to scratch his hair, Mo Zai Ocean replied in confusion, calling him an old man, that he was also pleased to meet him. He was Mo Zai Ocean, a mere mortal, and he did not dare to call himself a friend of Taoism. Seeing the evil energy of Mo Zai Ocean, Lai Fengzi inquiringly asked himself that he was Mo Zai Ocean. In his past life his name was Michin Dahuan, and he committed countless crimes. In this life he is Mo Zai Ocean. Continuing to look at Lai Fengzi in confusion, Mo Zai Ocean asked himself that how could he ask them to kill him? Or should he invite them into the house and discuss everything at the table? Lai Fengzi also continued to think that he had not used his old name to deceive heaven and earth, so he was hiding himself, but this old man could not be fooled. Starting to approach the door of the house, Mo Zai Ocean asked everyone with a smile on his face, saying that he had a bit of a mess here, and guests rarely come, if they are not bothered, can they come to visit? Laughing, Lai Fengzi replied that it did not bother them at all. They thanked him for the invitation. Going inside the house, Lai Fengzi thought that if you don't enter the left tiger, then you can't get a tiger skin, it's worth taking a look at his house. After a couple of minutes, everyone was already sitting on the chairs, happily leaving for another room. Mo Zai Ocean told everyone to wait here while he prepared food. Lai Fengzi only thanked him for his hospitality. After Mo Zai Ocean left, Lai Fengzi, feeling heavy energy, thought to himself, with a serious face, that it was worthy of being called the strongest. Even his devil's cave has so much energy. Yao Buyue, also feeling the energy, said to Lai Fengzi that the aura here seems to be denser than in their famous holy places. Agreeing with her, Lu Zir almost jumped up and said that if they could practice here, they would definitely be able to achieve great results in a short time. To which Lai Fengzi yelled at them not to let their guard down. 
They still need to be careful. Moreover, since he has a demon donkey, he is afraid that he is not as kind as he seems. Listening to their conversation, the demon ass turned into a girl again and touching her waist with one hand. She laughed and asked Lai Fengzi that the master's level was unimaginable. How could he understand something? Jumping off the seat, Yao Buyui called the girl a damn demon, angrily shouted to her that by coming here, she chose her own death. Shouting these words, Yao Buyui drew her sword and attacked the girl with it, but the girl easily stopped the sword aimed at her and asked with a smirk on her face that some little flower was trying to scare the whole forest. The girl's name was Lu Danji. She is a hundred years old, belongs to the demon clan, she is a four-leaf swordsman, at the peak of development. Lu Danji bent the sharp end without the slightest effort. Seeing this, Yao Buhui was very surprised and immediately asked what is it like. Lu Danji replied, no matter what they thought, she ran away in the morning. Just obeying the instinct of the demon race to be afraid of the human race, did they really think that she wouldn't be able to deal with the two of them? Starting to wave her hands, Lu Zai'er forced a smile and told Lu Danji to wait. It was just a misunderstanding. She didn't want to kill her, but just wanted to ask about this song. Looking at all this, Lai Fengzi thought to himself that even this demon had reached his level. How terrifying was Mo Zai Ocean's strength then? After thinking about it, Lai Fengzi told Yao Buyui to stop. They are here as guests. There is no need to quarrel. Snatching the sword from Yao Buyui's hands, Lu Danji adjusted the end of the sword back and calling Lai Fengzi prudent, used her powers and returned the sword to Yao Buyui's knives. After such actions, Yao Buyui began to tremble and think to herself that this demon is very strong. Turning towards the door, Lai Danji told everyone that after dinner they should say thank you and then go to hell and they should not disturb her master anymore. But for now, welcome. After saying all this, Lai Danji turned into a donkey and ran away, leaving behind an aura. Feeling this, Lu Zai'er covered her nose and thought that she deserved to be a great demon. Even her aura is life-threatening. After a while, Mo Zai Ocean set the table and invited everyone. And when everyone sat down at the table, he told everyone with a smile on his face that there are only a few vegetarian dishes left in the house. He asked them to help themselves. Touching his face, Mo Zai Ocean said to himself that it was a pity that all the meat and vegetables were cooked before he was ready to die. Pulling out the wine, Mo Zai Ocean forced a smile and said that he hoped everything would taste even better with the wine, so he asked for a drink, starting to pour Lai Fengzi's wine. Mo Zai Ocean thought to himself that it was homemade wine, so powerful that they would get drunk in a moment, and it was easy for drunken cultivators to lose their temper, and then they might accidentally kill them. Sensing the smell of food, and seeing how beautiful it was, Yao Buyui, Lai Fengzi and Lu Zai Er drooled, Lai Fengzi asked himself that there was no poison right there, right? Indeed, if he wanted to kill, he definitely wouldn't poison the food. Yao Buyui also thought that the energy in wine and vegetables contains Tao, which she can eat so easily. Did she have such luck? After starting to give food to Lu's ear's plate, Mo Zai Ocean started telling her that it's called Mapo Tofu, it's more fragrant when it's put in rice, she should try it. Lu Zai Er repeated his word questioningly, Tofu, and then asked looking directly at the food, what is it? From such a question, Mo Zai Ocean was a little surprised, and did not ask himself that really there is not even tofu in this world. After such thoughts, Mo Zai Ocean answered Lu's ear's question that it was cooked in a special way, probably a kind of refined food similar to their alchemy. After putting a spoonful of tofu on it, Lu Zai'er asked again, what is this pill? To which Mo Zai Ocean replied that if it's clear, then yes, after all, the creator of tofu is also an unknown alchemist. After receiving the answer, Lu Zai'er put a spoon of tofu in her mouth and ate it, after which she shouted that it was delicious. Seeing how Lu Zai'er was eating the food with both cheeks, Yao Buhu also took a spoon with tofu and said the word, let's try. Exhaling, Lai Fengzi thought to himself, with a spoon of tofu in his hand, that these children had forgotten about all precautions. Raising a glass of wine, Mo Zai Ocean smilingly told everyone, calling them dear guests, that they would let him raise a glass for today's meeting. Knocking glasses, all at once shouted the word, let's drink. When Lai Fengzi started drinking wine, he thought that the energy in this wine contained no less Tao than in food. Yao Buyui also thought to herself that the wine is very fragrant, and tastes delicious too. Lu Zier also said to herself that it was unusual, it smelled so delicious. Mo Zai Ocean was drinking wine with a satisfied face and telling himself that they could kill him when they got drunk. This might be his last meal. After drinking the wine, Lu Zai Zhr felt a surge of strength and asked herself, what is this feeling? At a time, she went halfway to the next breakthrough. Lai Fengzi looked at the remains of the wine with a surprised face, began to ask himself that why is the effect of this wine more powerful than that of the cultivation elixir? Even his old wounds are starting to worry less. Slowly getting up from her seat with a red face, Yao Buyui called Lai Fengzi a teacher and told him that something was wrong. 
After walking a little, Yao Buyui began to fall. Seeing this, Mo Zai Ocean managed to grab her by the waist and then asked what was wrong with her. Is it really because of the wine? Yao Buyui wanted to answer, but suddenly her eyes lit up and her sword popped out and aimed at Mo Zai Ocean's neck. Mo Zai Ocean happily thought to himself that she had already gone crazy after just one cup. Just look at this breakthrough. It seems someone is going to die soon. He is ready. Seeing all this, Lu Zir jumped out of her seat and shouted that it was not good. Her sister was out of control again. After stopping Lu Zir, Lai Fengzi told her, sitting at the table, not to panic. Having said that, Lai Fengzi thought with sweat on his face that Yao Buyui always loses control when she breaks through, and for a moment, her strength doubles. And if she is lucky, she will briefly fall into a fighting frenzy, a great opportunity to test this demon. At this time, Mozai Ocean made a stony face. And looking straight at Yao Buyui, he said to himself that she had already killed him. Why was she hesitating? Lu Danji came to the door and seeing how Yao Buyui pointed her sword at Mozai Ocean's neck, she asked herself, what did she dare to raise me against the master? After these thoughts, Lu Danji ran straight to the sword and with the help of her hoof hit the sword so hard that it broke on the spot. Then making a serious face, Lu Danji looked at Yao Buyui, Lu Zai Er and Lai Fengzi and asked herself, calling them shameless, that they were with everyone who fed and watered them, are they being led? Quickly getting up from his seat, Lai Fengzi thought with his mouth open that Yao Buyui's sword was a magic artifact, and it was broken so easily. Lu Zir was also very surprised and asked that she was so strong. Mo Zai Ocean looked dumbfounded at the broken sword and began to ask himself what kind of defective sword. What is it made of, since it broke with a single kick of some donkey? I wonder if all immortals use such things. By this time, Yao Buyui was hugging Mo Zai Ocean hard. Feeling her breasts on his, Mozai Ocean looked at her and saw that her cheeks were full. Yao Buyui at the same moment vomited right on Mozai Ocean's face. From such a sight, Lai Fengzi called Yao Buyui by name, and Lu Zai Er shouted the word, Sister. After releasing Yao Buyui, Mozai Ocean will ask out loud in disbelief, and what was that? She took just one sip, right? So why did she vomit blood? Yao Buyui collapsed on the floor, still unconscious, but she was contorting her face in pain, starting to scratch her head. Mozai Ocean, all stained, said to himself that what the hell, it's even kind of scary. Running up to Yao Buyui, Lu Zai Er shouted and asked how she was. She asks her to wake up. Lai Fengzi also ran up to Yao Buyui and sat next to her, calling her by name with emotion on his face. Looking at all this, Mozai Ocean started thinking to himself, asking that these people, they are real immortals, aren't they? He was waiting for them to kill him. But how did it happen that they started dying in his arms? Having asked these questions, Mozai Ocean saw the owl system in the yard, through the window, which was sitting on a tree shaking its head. And then Mozai Ocean continued to think to himself that he had relied only on the system for a hundred years. He had almost completed training in all areas, whether it was illness or poison poisoning. His skills are enough to help. Taking out a special paper from his sleeves, on which there are many needles, Mozai Ocean with a serious face told Luzir and Lai Fengzi that they would move away. He was going to help her. Approaching Yao Buyui and feeling her pulse, Mo Zai Ocean said with his eyes closed that Yin and Yang were separated. Yin was exhausted, Kai was deprived of nutrition, it was really very bad. Agreeing with him, Lai Fengzi said that this child was born with such a disease. Hearing such words, Lu Zir excitedly asked if she could be cured. Taking one needle in his hand, Mo Zai Ocean told her that it was worth trying. But first she had to help him take off her shoes and stockings, exposing her steps, shins and waist. After his words, Lu Zir handed over everything as he said. Then after finishing the work, she told Mo Zai Ocean that everything was ready. After starting to inject needles into the steps, knees and waist, and into the point below the nose, above the upper lip, Mo Zai Ocean simultaneously told aloud that the Yunquan point can help release energy. Acupuncture points can regulate Kai and blood circulation. Using these three points, he can improve the flow of Kai and stabilize energy. Shen Yu acupuncture point. It will help direct the energy to fill Yin. And finally it will connect the flow with Yang. When the acupuncture points are combined, the effect comes quickly, and over time even old wounds will heal. As soon as Mo Zai Ocean joined all the dots, it only took a couple of seconds and Yao Buyui opened her eyes. Seeing this, Lu Zir joyfully shouted that she had woken up, Big Sister had really woken up. Making a satisfied face, Mo Zai Ocean thought to himself that he had acquired a lot of knowledge over the past hundred years. But he did not expect that acupuncture and moxibustion would work so well on these people. Yao Buyui, seeing the needle on her face, reached out with her hand and asked Lai Fengzi, calling him a master, what kind of needle is this, and why is it so easy for her? Stopping Yao Buyui's hand, Lai Fengzi replied to her that whatever she touched, it could cure her, she should lie down quietly and rest. Surprised by his words, Yao Buyui inquiringly asked the word, cure. 
and asked that it would cure her illness. Starting to cry softly, Lai Fengzi began to think that this technique of the summon needle, according to legend, it was created by ancient gods and demons. This old man saw it only once in the imperial palace when he was young. However, the old man does not care whether it is a holy blessing or demonic witchcraft. As long as it can cure his illness students, this is a good technique. Pointing at Mo's eye ocean, Lai Fengzi told Yao Buhui that the gentleman had excellent medical skills. He had helped her, he had cured her ailment. Smiling a warm smile, Yao Buyui thanked Mo Zai Ocean. From such a smile, Mo Zai Ocean was embarrassed and told her that it was easy, not worth thanking. After saying these words, Mo Zai Ocean exhaled and thought to himself that if the acupuncture technique can benefit, it's good. It turns out he didn't learn it in vain, but it's a pity that he didn't die this time. And what should he do now? Maybe you should still ask them. After a couple of minutes, Yao Buyui got up from the floor and took her broken sword in her hands. She sadly said that it was all her fault. Hearing her words, Mo Zai Ocean touched his head and told Yao Buhui that it was because his donkey was mad that he threw away her sword, his pet is ill-mannered, and he is really ashamed. To which Yao Buhui replied to him that whatever it was, he just wanted to save his master's life. In the end, it was because she lost control of herself. Approaching Lai Fengzi with a broken sword, Yao Buhui called him a master and said that even if the blade was broken, but he had served her well, she wanted to bury him with dignity so that he would finally find a good home. Making a sad face, Lai Fengzi told Yao Buyui that this sword meant a lot to her, and now that it is destroyed, he is sad too. After saying these words, Lai Fengzi exhaled and continued that then they would bury him with honors. Turning to Mo Zai Ocean, Yao Buyui asked him, calling him Mr. if she could borrow some wine from him. She wants to use it to say goodbye to a friend. Mo Zai Ocean answered her positively, and then asked her that would that be enough. After that, Mo Zai Ocean took out a paper and a brush with ink from the locker. Seeing this, Lu Zaire approached Mo Zai Ocean and asked what Jian would do. To which Mo Zai Ocean replied, picking up a brush in his hands, that in his hometown, wine and poetry are the best way to say goodbye to friends. After saying these words, Mo Zai Ocean coughed and asked himself what he thought the poem would do. Smiling slightly, Yao Buyui thanked Mo Zai Ocean and told him that only she was not strong in poetry, so... Without listening to her, Mo Zai Ocean began to write, saying before that the word, let's start. Watching Mo Zai Ocean write beautifully and neatly, Lai Fengzi, Yao Buhui and Lu Zai Er were amazed. Yao Buhui asked herself, what is going on? Lai Fengzi also thought that his every stroke, his every word, every sentence, add up to an excellent verse about the sword. Mo Zai Ocean wrote on paper such sentences as, someone told him that the river is alive, and the stars and moon are bright, God cannot be controlled, and the sword will punish this injustice. The immortal jade dragon is always in touch, bound by blood. The land of fallen swords has expanded once again, wait and do not fight without it. After finishing writing, Mo Zai Ocean wrapped the paper in a scroll and walked up to Yao Buyui, handed it to her with the words that this scroll expresses respect and his reverence for this weapon. Smiling warmly, Yao Buyui took the scroll and unwrapping it, she put the sword in it and covered it with paper, after which she thanked Mo Zai Ocean saying that she was glad that he would be accompanied by this poem, and she was sure that he was happy too. When Yao Buyui finished, Lai Fengzi bowed slightly to Mo Zai Ocean and asked him, saying that after they finished, he was afraid it would be too late, could he let the three of them spend the night here? After asking about this, Lai Fengzi thought to himself that even though he had been reborn, he did not know how strong he was, and his motivation to help them was also questionable. It was necessary to observe him. Smiling happily, Mo Zai Ocean pointed to the rooms and replied to Lai Fengzi that he would drop these formalities. He has a lot of empty rooms here, so they can stay as long as their souls wish. Speaking of this, Mo Zai Ocean asked himself that after what happened today, he thought it was over, but luck and their strange traditions give him another chance, right? After all this, both Lai Fengzi and Mo Zai Ocean laughed to themselves and thanked each other out loud. Grave grave, Mo Zai Ocean went out into the courtyard to the grave of Yao Buhui's sword. Sitting in front of the grave, Mo Zai Ocean laughed and touched his head and began to say out loud to the grave that this girl really buried her sword. But does he know? Brother Giant, now he is in his own world, and he still needs to find a way to die. He hopes that he will not be able to die like him, right? Looking back, he realizes that once upon a time he was also a martial arts practitioner. And in order to save someone, he rushed forward without thinking, because of which he broke his leg, and because of a fracture he couldn't pass the exam. Therefore, he had to switch to the humanities, and in the end, thanks to this fraudulent system of the king of studies, he mastered all the arts and sciences, but he will still remain locked up here for another 400 years, although now everything is fine with his leg. He does not know whether he will be able to restore his status as a student in the school of martial arts and after returning. 
He hopes very much that all this will end soon. After such words, Mo Zai Ocean felt a rush of wind, which made him start laughing and asking what brother Jian decided to blow a light breeze to comfort him. Getting to his feet, Mo Zai Ocean continued to say that now he would be able to address him as a dearly loved friend, expressing his feelings. Even though he left him a farewell poem, it probably wasn't enough, so he should let him give him something else. Having said these words, Mo Zai Ocean began to use martial arts and dance, saying to himself that this Tai Chi was born from Wuji, or ultimate nothing. It is the source of dynamic and static states. The mother of yin and yang, if they move, they separate. If they are stationary, they combine. At the same time, Lu Zyer came out of the house half sleepy and asked out loud, saying that she was thirsty, where was the kitchen? Feeling the breeze, Lu Zier opened her eyes and said that what a pleasant wind it was. After that, Lu Zier saw that the door to the courtyard was open and there was a huge amount of energy there. Lu Zier asked in surprise why the door to the courtyard was open. Quietly approaching the door and seeing Mo Zai Ocean's movements, Lu Zai Er immediately covered her mouth with her hand and began to ask herself, what is Mr. Mo Zai Ocean? What technique does he perform? There is so much energy in him. Damn, she doesn't understand. She'd better ask her older sister about it. After thinking about this, Lu Zier quickly and quietly went to Yao Biuyu's room and after waking her up, she told her everything she had seen just recently. To which Yao Biuyu asked her what she meant. That Mr. Mo Zai Ocean can cause the movement of heaven and earth with just one series of blows, and his skills are very good. Immediately after this question, Yao Biuyi touched her stomach and with sweat on her face began to think to herself that speaking of this, the place where he inserted the needle was actually overflowing with Tao energy. He did it as if to help her break through, this person is really unusual, but where did he come from? By this time, Mo Zai Ocean kept dancing and telling himself with a joyful face that he hadn't practiced martial arts for hundreds of years, but he didn't expect it to be so easy now, remembering the time when he practiced martial arts. And now, how many years had he not felt anything like this? How pleasant are such moments when you are doing what you love? When Mo Zai Ocean finished his martial arts dance, he unknowingly gathered all the energy in his palm and sent the energy into the sky, from which a very strong thunder appeared. Frightened by this, Mo Zai Ocean fell to the ground and with a surprised face, shouting out loud, What the? Where did this thunderstorm come from? Lightning struck a tall and large tree, so the tree immediately caught fire and collapsed. From what he saw, Mo Zai Ocean's eyes and mouth opened wide, and he asked with sweat on his face, shouting that such a huge tree had fallen apart so easily. That is, if it hit him, it would burst in a matter of seconds seconds. After such words, an idea was born in Mo Zai Ocean's head, and with a joyful face, he said to himself that the moment of the birth of the perfect plan. Just recently he thought that he would not be able to find a way to die. Fortunately this lightning just gave him the idea of a wonderful way to solve this problem. This lightning can easily to destroy a large tree, isn't it a matter of a few minutes to hit an ordinary person like him? This time he will definitely be able to die successfully. Starting to laugh, Mo Zai Ocean raised his finger up. At the same time, Lu Zai'er showed Mo Zai Ocean's movements to Yao Biuyi, which she managed to memorize. Looking at this, Yao Biuyi sitting on the bed asked her what she was doing. To which Lu Zier, who stopped and started wiping her mouth from her face, replied that didn't she say that brother Mo Zai Ocean's fists contain the charm of martial arts that attract her. She would try to repeat his movements and see if she could help her break through. Smiling, Yao Biuyi beckoned Lu Zier with hand gestures. Realizing this, Lu Zier approached her asking what. When Lu Zier got close enough, Yao Biuyi put her hand on her head and started stroking her hair, told Lu Zier, calling her a younger sister, that the power of the reborn does not seem to be as simple as they thought. Moreover, martial arts, this is something that can only be revealed by those who who has great knowledge and deep insight. Her level of development is still low, so it's too early to try to comprehend it. Lu Zier inquiringly asked her words, is it early? And asked Yao Biuyi. Then what does it mean that she can't help Big Sister? Laughing, Yao Biuyi replied that it was fine, she would find her own way, but she was very grateful to her. Listening to all this while on the street, Lu Danji turned into a girl and looked with disdain towards Yao Biuyi and Lu Zai'er. She smiled viciously and said out loud that her master is so good, how can she steal his skills? She is so naive. After saying these words, Lu Danji looked at her hands with an inspired expression on her face and happily asked herself, saying that she had already seen the exercises that Mo Zai Ocean did, it seems he called it Taiji, right? Although it looks slow and the movements are simple, but the strength is just incredible. After looking around and starting to run away to another place, Lu Danji joyfully shouted that she could not do this here, otherwise the owner would find her, she needed to find another place to study. 
Having reached the cliff, Lu Danji began to repeat the movements of Mozai Ocean and say to herself such words as Tai Chi from Wuji or Ultimate Nothing. This is the source of dynamic and static states. Mother Yin and Yang, if they move, then they separate. If they are stationary, then they combine. While Lu Danji was repeating Mozai Ocean's movements in the thundercloud, the Lord of Thunder and Lightning, Legong touched his head and asked with a pitiful voice, what was it, who just made a big hole in him? He was so scared that he let out a thunderclap backhand, and he still feels sick. The dark cloud touched the shape of the hand and touching Legon's shoulder. It pointed down to him. Looking at the cloud, Legon asked him what he meant, what is so down? When Legon looked down and saw Lu Danji, he was dumbfounded and very angry, so he shouted and asked what the fuck to beat. An ass who changed her appearance. Why didn't he even guess? Maybe she hid her secret to avoid a thunderstorm. At first she hid and infuriated him. And now attacked Siggy dares to attack him. She fucking thinks that he is some kind of H-R-L-I-O-K-I-T-T-Y. No matter what, he will return this blow more than once, so much so that the donkeys will begin to die one by one. After all these words, Legong began to throw lightning bolts around Lu Danji, standing on the top of the mountain with an iron pot over his head, Mosai Ocean seeing that he would not be hit. He angrily threw out the iron pot, shouting that he was standing so high, also holding an iron pot. Is it really so difficult to hack on it once? Can the laws of nature work in this world? Or to get into it, you need to get close at close range. After saying these words, Mozai Ocean froze and asked with a stony face, What is this Zuxian world? Right, Zuxian world. This explains everything. They should do something special, for example, try to say something evil or absurd to anger this world. After finishing talking about it, Mozai Ocean raised his three fingers up and shouted that he swears that he will not become the most famous Casanova of this world. Otherwise, let lightning strike him. Smiling broadly, Mozai Ocean imagined himself hugging the half-naked Yao Buhui and Lu Zyre, and with a red face he thought to himself that why not try. In any case, if it works out, it will all end, and if not, he will not remain in the red. Lightning immediately after Mozai Ocean's words struck right at his feet. Frightened by this, Mozai Ocean jumped off and shouted that it really worked. Meanwhile, Legun, with a serious face, said out loud that his hand had slipped again and the little head was not getting better. Mozai Ocean sat down and raised his three fingers, with a smile on his face, asked himself that if it works, what is he waiting for? He will try again. After these words, Mozai Ocean started shouting very quickly such sentences as that the separation of garbage is absolutely useless, otherwise let him be struck by lightning, he will send the police, and nothing will happen to him, otherwise let him be struck by lightning, he will eat tofu and only sweet, otherwise let him be struck by lightning, playing games should be hanged. Otherwise let him be struck by lightning. The head of Ma Yun knows nothing about money. Otherwise let him be struck by lightning. 996. This is a blessing. Otherwise let him be struck by lightning. Any tramp can get into the headlines. Otherwise let him be struck by lightning. He will call the stock exchange. Otherwise let him be struck by lightning. At the same time, at the foot of the mountain, Lu Danji kept repeating Mozai Ocean's movements, even despite the lightning that was beating around her. Seeing all this, Lei Gong was very angry, and with an angry voice he asked aloud, What is this a joke? After so many attempts, still can't to hit her. He does not believe. This time he uses AoE attack. Let her try to dodge, if of course she can. There will be fried meat for dinner today. Having created a huge lightning bolt, Lei Gong sent it straight at Lu Danji, but lightning nearby heard Mosai Ocean's voice, who shouted that he swears that this man Hua will never become popular, and if it does, then let five lightning bolts hit him and turn him into ashes. From such words, the lightning instantly changed its course to Mosai Ocean. Seeing this, Lei Gong was shocked, his eyes and mouth opened wide and shouting asked what again. Mosai Ocean closed his eyes got to his feet and said with a smile on his face that this time everything would work out. If he was in the epicenter, then he would definitely be able to go back. Come on, he's ready. After reaching Mozai Ocean, the lightning struck directly at him. Already in the morning, Lai Fengzi was opening the doors on the street and thought to himself that last night he was woken up by the noise of a thunderstorm when he got up to go to the toilet. After thinking about it, Lai Fengzi said out loud that what a terrible night it was. Just as Lai Fengzi was about to leave, when suddenly he heard Yao Buhui's voice behind him, who called him, calling him master, turning around, Lai Fengzi saw not only Yao Buhui, but also Lu Zai'er, he asked them that they had already woken up. To which Yao Buhui replied with a worried expression on her face that last night she felt that disaster was coming, and she heard some strange sounds, does he know what it could be? Hearing her words, Lai Fengzi remembered that last night, shivering wrapped in a blanket, he told himself that he was very, very scared. 
After these memories, Lai Fengzi replied to Yao Buhui that perhaps it was the young master who used strange practices or spells to attract a thunderstorm of this magnitude. After saying that, Lai Fengzi exhaled and asked himself, what if it really was him? Yao Buhui continued to ask Lai Fengzi, saying that the phenomenon last night seemed to her extraordinary and mysterious. I wonder what is the reason for this. Touching his beard, Lai Fengzi thoughtfully replied that perhaps they saw the thunder of the nine heavens. Their power is enough to destroy the mainland, evaporate the water in the area and make the soil unsightly for work. But there was also the tent. According to legends, the son of heaven is born from it. Legend says that when this disaster, regardless of the success of the confrontation, the Bailey land will turn into a scorched earth and no grass will grow there for a hundred years. From such words, Luzir was surprised and shouted, asking if yesterday's thunderstorm was really that powerful. To which Lai Fengzi, turning away, replied positively, saying that the thunder of the nine heavens had not been there for thousands of years, and little is known about the origin of this catastrophe, and that from very ancient books. After all, catastrophes often happen, but there is no one in the world who would be against heaven, and this is not even heard of, so that the son of heaven would appear of such power that he could cause dozens of thunderstorms. As soon as Lai Fengzi said this, he immediately thought to himself that about the son of heaven, like yesterday Mozai Ocean was at the top, it means for him to destroy ordinary people all over the world. It's just a matter of a few minutes. There's nothing strange that he caused a thunderstorm last night, but if so then why are they still alive? While Lai Fengzi was thinking about this, Lu Zir saw Mo Zai Ocean coming back and waved to him, happily saying that Big Brother had already returned. Mo Zai Ocean's clothes were almost burned, and he himself was holding an iron bowl with a smile on his face, saying everyone by name that they had already woken up. Seeing his appearance, Lai Fengzi coughed up blood and thought to himself that this smell of burning, he really saw everything correctly, and this guy is still unharmed, it's completely wrong. Yao Buhui and Lu Zir immediately approached Mo Zai Ocean as soon as he entered the house. Bowing slightly, Yao Buhui wished good morning to Mosai Ocean. Touching his head with his other hand, Mosai Ocean asked Yao Buhui that nothing was bothering her anymore, right? Yao Buhui happily replied to him that after yesterday her injury had almost healed, she was very grateful to him for his help. After hearing her words, Mosai Ocean told her that it was good, she needed rest now, and then she would be able to fully recover in a couple of days. After calling Mosai Ocean Big Brother several times, Luzir enthusiastically asked him what he saw last night. That thunder was thundering in the sky, and a strong rumble of thunder continued to reach them. Her teacher said that it was the thunder of the nine heavens. She heard that it was very, very powerful. To which Mozai Ocean replied that this name sounds amazing. But there shouldn't have been such a thunderstorm yesterday. It was all because of his younger brother. The tension was too low, he even got a little bit. But apart from numbness in his whole body, he didn't feel anything. Such words of Mozai Ocean pierced Lai Fengzi's heart very much, as if it were a real environment. After such words, Lai Fengzi viciously began to ask himself that the voltage was too low. His body was just numb, and he was still hiding his identity. Could it be enough for him to pretend? Didn't Jian say that yesterday's thunderstorm was caused by his younger brother? At the same time, Lu Danji sneezed in the donkey's body. She was that certain younger brother who really caused the thunderstorm. Lai Fengzi kept looking at Mo Zai Ocean and thinking to himself that Dahuan deserves to be Dahuan. Even if he has not regained his strength yet, he still cannot be afraid of the thunder of the nine heavens. Once he regains his former strength, then he is afraid that this world will have his legs. You can't let this guy keep growing, he needs to be killed, and as soon as possible. A few minutes later, Mo Zai Ocean was lying in his bed, and while Lai Fengzi, Lu Zir and Yao Buhui were standing next to him, he was thinking with a pale face that it seems that yesterday he was overexcited, in anticipation of a lightning strike. Now that he has returned, he wants to sleep. Seeing all this, Lu Zir with a restless voice and face asked that Jian looks up, did he not sleep? Mo Zai Ocean, trembling, replied that everything was fine, he just wanted to sleep a little, in short, he would be full of energy again, he would sleep a little, and then cook her a delicious meal. Hearing his words, Lai Fengzi pulled a smile and told Mozai Ocean that if he was feeling unwell, then he should rest, he knows how to cook, so he can leave it to him, did they agree? Luzir and Yao Buhui were very shocked by Lai Fengzi's words. Mozai Ocean, giving the iron cup to Lai Fengzi, asked him that it wasn't too troublesome for him. Taking the iron cup, Lai Fengzi replied with a smile on his face that no matter what he was worried about, he could think of it as a payment for hospitality. After saying these words, Lai Fengzi turned his head to Luzir and Yao Buyui and told them to come up to him and help. Lu Zai'er fell on her feet to Yao Buyui, crying, asked what should they do. The master said that he would cook himself. The last time the master cooked, she could not get out of bed for three days after eating just one piece. This time she is afraid that she will not survive. From such words, Lai Fengzi approached Lu Zai'er, 
and hitting her on the head. He began to leave shouting that she dared to doubt the culinary abilities of the teacher. He would feed the young master first, and then them. After a couple of minutes, Yao Buyui and Lu Zai'er stood quietly and listened outside the kitchen to what their master was cooking. Lai Fengzi, on the other hand, was frying chicken in an iron pot that Mo Zai Ocean gave him and looking at how the chickens were cooked. Lai Fengzi said out loud that high-quality ingredients could not be spoiled by simple cooking, but if diluted a little. Without finishing the sentence, Lai Fengzi took two ingredients that were in the cups in both hands and continued to say, adding these ingredients to the chicken, that now his strength is great, and ordinary poison will not work so easily. But if they are combined, the demon, he can only blame himself for being so naive and let him cook for him. As soon as Lai Fengzi added four poisons, the iron cup behaved strangely, seeing that Lai Fengzi with sweat on his face asked what, after which, the food in the iron cup exploded. The explosion was so powerful that it knocked out the door where Lu Zir was standing. From such a wave impact, Lu Zir also fell. Yao Buyui immediately went inside, shouting, asked Lai Fengzi that he was alright. Lai Fengzi, looking at the whole iron pot, which was without a single scratch, asked that why did this pot explode? After asking about this, Lai Fengzi, stained with food, fainted. Yao Buyui immediately shouted the word, Master, in concern. A couple of minutes later, Lai Fengzi woke up and was bandaged by Yao Buhui and Lu Zir. Sitting on the floor, Lai Fengzi was holding an iron pot in his hands and exhaling aloud asked that it was very strange. Why did this pot, so suddenly, explode? After such words, Lai Fengzi clicked on the iron pot. The iron pot in turn lit up and a golden image of Lei Gong appeared above it. Seeing such a sight, Lai Fengzi's mouth opened wide and he asked himself with sweat on his face, What is this, a heavenly avatar? He realized last night, Mosai Ocean deliberately attracted the thunder of the nine heavens, in order to seal the power of thunder in this pot. Now this iron pot has become a terrifying magic weapon of the supreme Mosai Ocean turns simple items into top-class magic weapons, not to mention their amazing power. Such things can weaken the opponent's vigilance and take him by surprise. He is the one who does not lose, the one who has a good plan and opportunity. Having got along with him in the future, one should not lose vigilance. While Lai Fengzi was thinking about this, Mo Zai Ocean walked up to the kitchen and seeing all three of them together, he said out loud that they were here. As soon as Lai Fengzi, Yao Buyui and Lu Zir looked in his direction, Mo Zai Ocean continued that Jian heard an explosion, that's why he came, Mr. Lai Fengzi, is he okay? Laughing, Lai Fengzi replied that he was not careful with the fire, and steamed a little. While saying this, Lai Fengzi was viciously asking himself, is he okay? And can't he see for himself, a heartless demon? After hearing the answer, Mo Zai Ocean started scratching his face and asking again, saying that's how it is, but didn't he say that he can cook? After asking about this, Mo Zai Ocean said to himself that he hurt himself a little. He should look at himself. It looks like he needs to go to the intensive care unit. Is he wrong? Yao Buyui also asked Lai Fengzi that why he says he got hurt a little, he's seriously injured. To which Lai Fengzi shouted back that the old man said he was slightly injured, so that's it. Looking at it from the outside, Mozai Ocean thought that this is an ordinary kitchen, it can't be that the old man blew it up on purpose, right? Mozai Ocean immediately introduced Adara in the form of Lai Fengzi, who shouted words like, Art, this is an explosion. After that, Mozai Ocean began to think that although according to the law of the genre, masters of his age have a lot of hidden injuries, suddenly his flow is disrupted, and he no longer controls his strength. If he gets angry, he will probably just explode. Mr. Lai Fengzi, he is the same as those masters, right? After looking at the outstanding Lai Fengzi, who tremblingly picked up the iron pot from the floor, Mozai Ocean suggested to him that he thinks his injury shouldn't be serious, why not show him? After putting down the iron bowl, Lai Fengzi turned to Mo Zai Ocean and began to refuse, waving his head and saying that it was just scratches, he needed to rest a little. After saying these words, Lai Fengzi thought to himself that he wants him to turn to him for help and he could get rid of him unnoticed. This old man has been trampling this earth for a long time to get caught in this. Yao Buhui and Lu Zir, hearing Mo Zai of Ocean's words, approached Lai Fengzi and grabbed him with both hands, lifted him up and began to carry him out of the kitchen. Seeing this, Lai Fengzi shouted, What are they doing? To which Yao Buyui replied that even though Big Brother is mortal, he has excellent medical skills, so he should let him take a look. Agreeing with Yao Buyui, Lu Zir also said that the body is the most important thing. He just needs to listen to Big Brother. Lai Fengzi continued shouting at them to put him down. As soon as they left the kitchen, Yao Buyui felt something strange in her body and immediately fell to the ground. Seeing this, Lu Zir immediately asked, What is wrong with her? Yao Buyui, touching her stomach and with sweat on her face, replied that no, nothing, some strange feeling inside, an unprecedented pleasure from how the energy passes through the meridians. When Mo Zai Ocean started to leave the kitchen, Lu Zir shouted to him that something was wrong with Sister Yao. 
Lai Fengzi with an anxious face asked Yao Buyui, where does she hurt? Some time later, Yao Buyui answered to her room. Their Mozai Ocean pulled the game out of her stomach, after which he touched his head and pulled a smile and said that he was so sorry. But yesterday, when he was giving injections, a needle for stimulating blood circulation accidentally remained in the body. He forgot to pull it out earlier, this is mistake. After saying these words, Mo Zai Ocean began to laugh. Lu Zir and Lai Fengzi exhaled with relief, thinking that this was the case, and they were scared to death. Sitting down on the bed, Yao Buyui with a red face called Mo Zai Ocean by name, and then when he looked, she turned her head away and said that if it wasn't for his help yesterday, she would have been seriously injured. And because of the loss of control and the chaos created, it's easy to forget, he shouldn't blame himself. Laughing, Mozai Ocean thanked Yao Buyui for understanding, and after remembering something, Mozai Ocean quickly ran away shouting that Mr. Lai Fengzi had suffered in the cooking process. Then they should let him cook breakfast for everyone, they need to wait a bit. After a while, Mozai Ocean put a whole cauldron of porridge on the table, and with a smile on his face called everyone to the table. Looking at the breakfast, Lu Zir happily said the words, Breakfast? Looking at his bowl of porridge and starting to eat it, Lai Fengzi began to think to himself that this is incredible. It may seem simple, but obviously the pure aura of heaven and earth, and it is definitely not an ordinary product. But why is Mozai Ocean bestowing such treasures on them? Intentionally showing kindness. No judging by his current strength. Today he definitely does not look up to them, let alone show kindness, maybe to buy them off. Although his cultivation base is not as good as his, but he still has his body and bones. He accepts the gift, but he won't work for the devil. Yao Buyui, after eating some porridge, dropped the cup and clutched her stomach. Seeing this, Lu Zire jumped out of her seat and asked what was wrong with her again. Lai Fengzi also jumped off and asked, What is it this time? Yao Buyui also replied that she feels, right now, a breakthrough. After these words, Yao Buyui's strength began to increase before his eyes. Surprised by this, Lu Zir shouted to Lai Fengzi that he would look. Lai Fengzi asked with a shocked face that how is this possible? When Yao Buhui made a breakthrough, she became a middle-level three-leaf swordsman. Looking at this, Lu Zir walked up to Lai Fengzi happily shaking his shoulders and told him that Big Sister had broken through, it was so great. Lai Fengzi was stunned and he asked himself that how is it possible? She just jumped two levels and got right to the middle of the three leaves. Is it really thanks to this gift, she made a breakthrough? No. Although this weak energy can be used for practice, it cannot be enough. Must there may be another reason. By the way Mosai Ocean also used needles to treat Yao Buhui to help her open the meridian. And then he drank a full cup of alcohol with a lot of energy, which revived him and tightened his old wounds. In that case, if Mosai Ocean can help him with his needles and then use his strength, then he can break through too. Thinking about this, Lai Fengzi ran straight to Mozai Ocean shouting his name, and when Mozai Ocean looked at him, Lai Fengzi drank his porridge and stretched out his hand shouted to him that he had just taken a few sips, and now he feels very bad, so he asks him to help him. From such actions, Mozai Ocean was left speechless, but still agreed, thinking to himself that this old man, he was so scared to death just now, and now he pretends that he is ill. He is asking for help like that, isn't he? When Yao Buyui came to his senses, he and Lu Zir were standing on the street and heard the screams of Lai Fengzi, who shouted that he would be helped, saved, he was in so much pain. Mozai Ocean finished sticking needles in all the places of Lai Fengzi, got up from his seat and with a smile on his face said Lai Fengzi, calling him Master Lai, that they would finish for today. But he thinks that he has a serious illness. It is best to use acupuncture and moxibustion every day for several days. From Mozai Ocean's words, Lai Fengzi's eyes popped out and he shouted with sweat on his face. What does he want to say that in the next few days he will be the same as now? After walking away from Lai Fengzi and showing him the scroll, Mozai Ocean replied that fortunately, Mr. Lai offered to cure his body for him, only then did he find out that he was suffering from a hidden illness, although he did not dare to say that it could be cured. But if he could undergo nine consecutive courses of treatment, he believes that it will help him. Hearing Mozai Ocean's words, Lai Fengzi fell down and began to cry, thinking to himself that in other words, the old man needs to endure this pain eight more times. After these thoughts, Lai Fengzi with a plaintive voice said that applying needles for nine days in a row, it's hard for the old man. After starting to wrap the scroll back up, Mozai Ocean asked Lai Fengzi that he mentioned that last night was hard for him, right? A little wrong, but it feels like it's the same thing. Jumping off his seat, Lai Fengzi cheerfully said that by the way, it seems to him that he does not know at all about yesterday's thunderstorm, the thunder of the nine heavens, is that it will fall on the same person at midnight for nine days in a row. Moreover, each time, the force of the thunderstorm will double up to until the ninth day. Legend has it that the thunderstorm on the ninth day is much more powerful than the force of all the thunderstorms of the previous eight days. One blow is enough to make the rivers go backwards. 
and the plane stretching thousands of miles became a lifeless wasteland for many years. He looked through all the ancient books, and the thunder of the nine heavens has been mentioned only a few times in the last 10,000 years. But no one has been able to surpass the thunder of the first five days, although the world has never seen a thunderstorm on the ninth day. He is afraid that it is similar to the one he described. After Lai Fengzi's words, Mo Zai Ocean thought, touching his chin, that the world of immortal cultivation is really strange. Once a day there will be a thunderstorm, and each time its strength will increase, doesn't this mean that this world has its own laws? Wait, a thunderstorm that will increase every day. So in other words, today, after tomorrow and again after tomorrow there will be thunder, and it will be more powerful. So today's thunderstorm should be a little stronger, right? While Mo Zai Ocean was thinking about this, he uttered the word. Oh hearing this, Lai Fengzi grabbed Mo Zai Ocean's clothes and started shaking him, shouting asking what about. Just about. He explained the situation in such detail, and he just goes back to him and says oh. He told so much, he can even a little scared. Abruptly releasing Mo Zai Ocean. Lai Fengzi touched his head and began to think for himself that if you think about it, when this monster comes out into the world, there will be more troubles than from these thunderstorms. It's best now that he is cut in half by lightning. Why is he trying to help him? But still, he used his medical skills and helped him. He had not felt so good for a long time. Even if he had just done him a favor, it would not feel guilty in the future. With sweat on his face, Mo Zai Ocean started pulling needles out of Lai Fengzi's body and telling him with a smile that this time he would not forget a single needle. Making a serious face, Lai Fengzi continued to think to himself that although the power of the nine disasters is doubling every day, but the power of the thunderstorm in the first days is not very great. He will be able to escape with the students, okay. He will stay here for two more days and observe. When night fell, Mo Zai Ocean went to the top of the mountain where he was yesterday, and lifting the iron pot up, he shouted to the sky that he was ready. He should not feel sorry for him, because he is a delicate flower, he just can do everything possible to kill him. At that moment, in the sky, Lagan sat with a dissatisfied face and filled his energy saying out loud that last night, he gave his all. But he got this donkey, others are already pointing a finger at him, and the elders are generally angry. If he does not cope today, there will be consequences. The battery is almost charged and now he will see where this creature is now. Opening the clouds, Lagong saw only Mozai Ocean, who stood smiling, Lagong immediately wondered what? Who is this child? After that, Legong remembered that he had seen Mosai Ocean last night, and viciously said that he remembered. His last attack did not reach the guardian of the barrier. By the way, did not this Oi guy take away all her might? Yesterday he was busy with a donkey and did not even notice this child. Now he himself came here then first he has to hit people, then he has to hit donkeys, then he has to hit trees and smash everything here. The battery is charged twice as much today, so he will definitely deal with them, come on. Already in the morning, Mosai Ocean shouted into the sky pointing with his finger, what is this, a joke. He stood here all night, but did not feel anything. Only ruined his clothes, what kind of disaster is this if an ordinary person cannot die? Seeing all this, Lagan was very angry. Blazing with fire, Lagan viciously asked what the fuck are they mocking, is it still too weak? Tomorrow he will double the power and bring it down on their heads. The third day, the fourth day, the fifth day, the sixth day, the seventh day, the eighth day, all these days passed as the first and second day. So the storm of the first eight days passed, and then the ninth day came. On the night of the ninth day, Lai Fengzi and Lu Zir gathered in Yao Buhui's room. Lai Fengzi fell to the ground and thought to himself that it's over, this time it's really over. Initially he wanted to see if this demon would last in the first day, so he stayed. But he actually lasted until the ninth day, the ninth thunderstorm. On the ninth day, no matter how they resist, even if a drop of this force breaks out, they will all be destroyed. Looking at Lu Zir, who was standing near the window and looking at the thunderstorm in the sky, Lai Fengzi asked her what is the situation now. Luzir replied that the thunderclap in the sky is scarier than a few days ago. Yao Buyu asked Lai Fengzi, saying that these thunderstorms are how terrifying. So why does Big Brother go out every night to catch them? Does he use it for training and improvement? Getting to his feet, Lai Fengzi replied that everything was not so simple. They should wait and see how it would go. After saying these words, Lai Fengzi thought to himself that this nightmare has been dragging on for the ninth day and the destructive power and scope of the thunderstorm have reached their peak. Now he will not be able to escape even if he wants to. He hopes that this little demon will cope and will not let them lose their lives. At the same time, Mozai Ocean was sitting on the top of the mountain and with a stony face asked out loud that for eight days in a row he didn't feel anything at all. What kind of disaster is this? Can he just do it right? You thin dog. Lei Gong in the sky was viciously shouting with a lot of batteries that today he brought all the batteries with a full charge, and he hopes that after releasing their power, he will be able to feel better. He is still waiting for him, isn't he a brat? He doesn't believe that it really won't be able to kill him. 
After shouting these words, Legong gathered all the energy and directed it at Mosai Ocean. When the lightning reached Mosai Ocean, he said with pleasure on his face that the pulse was gone. It's so comfortable, is this the feeling when he is struck by thunder? Excellent. Seeing Mosai Ocean's reaction, Legong directed more and more lightning at Mosai Ocean, shouting that he was fucked up. He was also getting high there. Then he should get comfortable and get, get, get. Lu Danji was sleeping at this time and suddenly opened her eyes and asked the owl system, calling her sister, looking straight at the thunderstorms beating Mosai Ocean, why is she here? To which the owl system replied that it was funny for her to watch the owner having fun, she should see how much fun he had. Agreeing with her, Lu Danji asked her again, saying that in fact, the great calamity of heaven, according to the assessment of this world, is equal to the strength of about a couple hundred leaves, and how can it harm the owner? The owl system replied that there is a hidden law in Mosai Ocean. Knowledge is power. What the master has learned over the past hundred years seems to be just knowledge. But in fact, the skill tree has also awakened skills in him that have no analogs in the world. Naturally, this thunderstorm cannot cause him harm. After looking at Mosai Ocean, who is just lying down, Lu Danji began to tell the owl system that the master is so strong that he must have grown tens or even hundreds of thousands of leaves inside himself, and why he likes to babysit these three chickens so much. She hopes that he is just having fun, letting himself relax. Agreeing with Lu Danji, the owl system said that the master is not yet experienced enough in managing internal flows, and what he does unwittingly reveals his skills, and these practices improve his skill. This also gives him a lot of advantages, since it is intended for her and the master, she can think of it as giving them a chance to test themselves. Already in the morning, Mosai Ocean returned home and told himself aloud that so, the whole night had passed. And he was still alive, of course, disaster or something like that could not be relied on. While Mosai Ocean was walking along the road, he noticed that something bright lit up near him, and when his head turned, or covered his eyes with his hands and asked, what is it? 